Came oh so close to a fourth a couple of more times. Yellow on the track, yellow flag conditions. And we have an accident. Spencer Piggott is into the wall with heavy damage. The second year driver for Hunkos Racing. And that's a big crash for that brand new team. Good to see that Spencer looks okay. He's taking the wheel off. Heavy smoke from that machine. And Piggott will extricate himself from the car very quickly as the seat gets hotter and hotter. He had just left pit lane. Mm. So I don't know whether he was completely up to speed or not, but that's uh, not the issue right now. It's how bad the car is damaged, and it looks like that he is okay. Spencer's last lap was registered at 155 miles per hour. Not certain if he was on his out lap or if that was his in lap from the previous run. That's way down the back stretch, Kevin. He hit uh, exiting corner number two. You can see the debris left there at the exit of two. The Homaltro safety team, as always, was on the scene very, very quickly. Spencer Piggott, 23 years old from the Orlando, Florida area, a former Indy Lights champion preparing for his second 500. He's a regular driver for Ed Carpenter Racing. He drives the road and street courses in the number 20, and there's our first look at the replay, and he's on loan to Hunkos Racing for this month of May. Here's one more look, and a late look at the end of that, and we see Jay, no, that's Marco Andretti, I think. I think that might have been Marco Andretti that, yes, it is, the 27 car that had to scoot through that debris field. Okay, let's look on the video board again and see what we can see with the frozen shot. So this is still after he started to lose control. Why well, he hit the wall, the safer barrier there almost head on. Yeah, that's a heavy, heavy contact. So very pleased to see that Spencer got out of the car on his own quickly. He'll still get the check to make sure all is okay before he's cleared. That car slid a long way from turn two. So this is going to take a little while to get this cleaned up with a lot of parts on the racetrack from the exit of turn two going down the back stretch for a little ways. And we have a crew headed to the medical center, so we'll wait for a report 
on Spencer Piggott coming up in just a little bit. But again, if you're just tuning in, he got out of the car very quickly under his own power.